everybody, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Rocket Cone XP. This is quite possibly one of the best looking gaming mice that I've seen. And here you can see some samples of its glory that includes 3D RGB lighting with 22 LEDs inside. This is an unboxing video, but an unusual one because I'm not allowed to talk to you too much about this mouse just yet, but there will be a review that follows at a later date. But what I want to do is show you some of the highlights of it, talk about the specs and what's interesting about it, talk about my initial thoughts on this mouse and to show off just some of the possibilities. Now this mouse boasts some serious specifications. They include up to 19,000 DPI using Rockat's Owl Eye optical sensor. It has 50 Gs of acceleration, 15 programmable buttons with a possible 29 possible functions, which is insane in itself. It also has a 4D mouse wheel, which means you get left and right tilt on it. So you have some actions in there and a multitude of buttons on the side and those wonderful things that make rocket mice interesting not least of which is the titan optical switches but also it comes with a button dedicated to rocket's easy shift technology which is one of my favorite things about rocket products which is essentially a button that you can press that then activates a secondary layer of actions and potential on the mouse. So you can press and hold the easy shift button, which I'll show you the position of that in a minute, and then use that to access extra buttons that you've programmed within Rocket Swarm software. And so the potential for button mapping here is insane and you have loads of options there. Now in the box, obviously you get the mouse and you get some additional PTFE feet as well. So you have two lots of feet and a really simple setup. You also notice some large areas on the bottom and the underside as well. Now this is not a lightweight mouse, but it is one with a number of really nice highlights to it. When I first got out of the box, I was struck by just the sheer number of buttons, but also just the look and feel of it, especially once you get it plugged in, as you've already seen, it is stunning. Now this has a very flexible USB cable, as you'd imagine, so that is not an issue. And the other thing that's immediately apparent is just the mass of buttons. On top behind the mouse wheel, we see there's one button there, that's actually for profile switching. Then alongside the left main button, you have two other buttons for going through, cycling through your DPI level. The main switches are obviously Titan optical switches to give you the optical response of fast actuation. And those are satisfying to press and give it a wonderful feedback. And I'll leave some click samples at the end. But along the left hand side, you also have access to a multitude of different buttons. There's four buttons at the top within reach of your thumb which are labeled T1, T2, T3 and T4 and you can access those in Swarm software. Obviously I'll show you that at a later date but as default they do things like register clicks on your keyboard for example RNG so they can be used for reload and throwing grenades in game and the thumb button which I'll show you a close up of a second is the one that's dedicated to the easy shift functionality. I look at the underside and you'll see just the large slick PDFE areas and you'll see it flying about on the desk in some of these clips as well. So despite not being like super lightweight like a lot of the other recent gaming mice out there, this is a classic Rockout setup. A nice cable mouse packed full of features and functionality and great specs and yet at a reasonable price because it's not terribly expensive for what you get in here. Also ergonomically shaped and for larger hands quite possibly, I find it's a wonderful fit for me and it's been a great initial impression. It just sits nicely into my palm and fits nicely. I prefer mice on the larger side so this ticks the right boxes but you can see when you put it on the scales you get 100 grams. They say 104 is standard, mine weighs about 100 but obviously this depends how much cable is laying on there as well and the thought that that might have the impact that might have on you. Now with Rockat products obviously you have that classic AMO lighting in there and you've got this new 3D RGB light and you can see the strips on the inside of this shines through into the mouse wheel and the mouse wheel is another one of those hidden things because you have left and right pivot on it so that counts as some of the buttons and there's 15 buttons in total which is an insane amount and yet 
it's designed in a really nice way in that they're not overpowering or getting in the way. One of the things that I will say though, my initial impression is that the position of the buttons could be a little bit better. The easy shift button, for example, sits on the bottom of the thumb rest. And if you're depressing that, you can't easily, I don't think, it might be a bit of a thing to master, press the buttons above that, which would be the ideal use case, is that you could press both with your thumb, the easy shift button and those thumb buttons at the same time. I think that might be a bit tricky to do. However, you do obviously still have a lot of programmability and you can see some of the RGB lighting changing here as you adjust those buttons and press them as well. So there are indicators on what you're doing and what mode you're in and what profile you're on, all used through that RGB, which by the way, gives a fantastic glow on the hand as you'll see. So it's not just striking when it's sitting on the desk or when it's posing up against a chanker here, for example, but it also gives a really nice reflection on your hand and a satisfying glow when you're using it. So my initial impressions are certainly one of pleasure and happiness at this mouse. I think it's going to be a good addition to Rockat's lineup of gaming mice. And let me know what you think in the comments. What would you like to see this compared with? Obviously, there's been a lot of really good cone mice in the past and mice from Rockat in general and a lot of nicely comparable ones. This one is certainly one of the most striking I've seen from them and reminiscent of the Burst Pro in terms of that RGB, but also stands out on its own. You'll see some nice grippy areas down the left and right hand side of it. And obviously some of that curved ergonomic shape where your thumb going to sit as well for a right handed gamer and one that likes ergonomics and a comfortable fit. This is a good set up with lots of potential. Now I'm going to leave a sound sample so you can hear some of those clicks in action and get the taste of what the mouse sounds like. Please let me know in the comments what you think and what you'd like to see it compared with and what you'd like to see in the review. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks for watching.